For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip out the Madden cheese as always. Got some pass plays for you guys today. An explosive passing scheme out of my San Francisco 49ers ebook. This is a post patch updated version of an offense that I put out a long time ago. Uh, specifically, run plays. I'm not going to go over run plays today because I already put them out. I'll put a link in the description. It was probably like a month or two ago that I put them out. But if you guys want to check out a very good run scheme from this formation, check that out. I'll have a link in the description below for that. But today, I'm going to be going over two pass plays that can home run just about any single defense in the game. And they're found in a lot of different playbooks as well at least the first one is so let's go and let's get into the video the formation itself is the strong close this formation was one of the meta offensive formations last year and it still has a ton of great running and passing plays now the two plays that i'm going to show today are going to be the pa deep cross this one's probably the best play you can home run just about every single defense in the game with this particular play and then the y trail now this one here is a little bit more rare the pa deep cross is in a lot more playbooks but the y trail is one that is probably one of my more favorites based off the fact that it's like i said it's pretty rare not a lot of people know about it you can home run a lot of defenses with this as well so if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense in the future Woo! it might be like a 20 to 30 minute breakdown hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'll put that out in the future oh and that's going to start off with the pa deep cross on the defensive side we're going to start off with cover two and work our way back like we normally do now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com. If you guys want to get your MUT team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below. Use discount code MONEY to get 3% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now, this play, when it comes to cover two, there's two different ways to do this. One of them, and probably the easiest one, is going to be motioning this B route across. As you can see, a cornerback follows, but that's okay. All you have to do is motion them across, put the X route on a streak, and you're going to see how you're going to have a very easy play outside the cover two cornerback now it's going to be a lot better if i run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field based on the fact that i'm really shortening my throw now when it comes to cover two there's a couple of different ways to hit a one play touchdown against regular cover two zone number one motion this guy here across this is probably the easiest one but it's also a little bit of a tell because you're motioning this guy over but if you motion him across and put the x route on a streak the b route here is just going to have a very easy path um you know to uh, to pretty much you know one play touchdown although there he did a pretty good job of catching it uh this is something too you're going to want to make sure you pass lead a little bit more than I did there. I really didn't get a great pass in that particular play. Uh, you could also put the A route on a drag and then block your running back. I don't really think that that part of this play is really important. But you can see if I take away that play action, I mean, I'm getting outside of that. I might not get the one play touchdown in this variety, but there's a much better way to do that. The best way to do it is basically just put this A route here on a delay fade. Now I switch receivers because you need a little bit more of a speed advantage to do it this way. But there's no tell, which is like the nicest part of it. And then you can see how, you know, this guy just gets right over the top of both the mid-read linebacker and the safety. I could do that with uh, with Watkins also, but in that scenario, you typically want to motion across. If you have a slow receiver like this, you want to motion across the A route, put him on a delay fade on the other side. And now you're going to see how that really pulls that safety down. Uh, and gives you a little bit more of a passing lane over the top. So I don't really want to do it with the motion. I mean, if I can do it without the motion, that's probably best. But you can see there's multiple ways to hit a one-play touchdown against cover two. That works the same with cover two man. So let's go and let's pick that next. Now, when it comes to cover two man, I'm going to say the best way to do it is going to be the, the first way. Motion this guy across, put him on a streak. Go ahead and do the uh, the drag and I'm blocking my running back because the drag actually beats uh, this defense where the running back does not. And then you can see we can get outside of that defense, you know, just like we did the cover two. It's not going to be as big of a play, but it's still a very big play against cover two man or zone. Now against cover three, this is one of the things that improved the most during the most recent patch of November. Let's go and let's pick that. There's another play where you're going to want to know where you are in the hash mark. Against cover three, I find it's best to run this to the short side of the field. I consider this a short side bomb. Well, I'm just going to put the X route on a five yard out. Don't need the running back once again, but I can, uh, you know, I can pass block him and I'm going to put the A route on a streak. That's all I really got to do. And then you're going to see how this B route here gets going right over the top of the cornerback. As you can see, that's probably the widest space you're going to get. You can run this from the hash mark to the open side of the field as well. So we'll run it from the open side one time just to show you what I'm talking about. Um, although, like I said, this here, these cornerbacks, I think they do a little bit of a better job reacting, but you can see we're still getting that separation. So as long as you have an elite speed receiver, you can hit it from anywhere on the field. Also has a lot of success against cover four. So we're going to do cover four drop contain. Against cover four is another short side bomb. It's going to run from a hash mark to the short side of the field. And this B route here, once he gets past this safety, you can see he just gets separation and then it's an easy one play touchdown. Now, this is a play, for whatever reason, 
uh, I run out of space. I mean, this is a play, you know, a lot of these bombs, I typically run from the 50, but, you know, sometimes it might be advantageous to run it from the 40. When it comes to making the throw, you really just have to wait for this receiver here to get parallel with the safety because the safety goes in the full sprint back. I typically want the ball to release right as I'm parallel with them. So if I go back to the quarterback now, I guarantee you the ball is coming out. As you can see, that's where my timing's at. I want him parallel because it's all about when you sprint, you click on, you sprint away from the safety. That's really where you get the separation. So if you're having issues with this particular play, it could be because of that. So we're gonna do it one more time. Like I said, I'm timing it with him being parallel with that safety. If, we, if I can do that, I'll typically get an easy one play touchdown. Although you can see right there, that one there, I had even less separations like I tackled right away, but still a very big play. This play can also be glitchy against cover four quarters. So let's go and let's pick that. This play doesn't need any adjustments against cover four quarters either. All the crossing routes typically give cover four quarters problems. And you can see we get a very easy one play touchdown against the best safety in the game who cannot keep up at all. You can do some adjustments though. You can put the A route on a 10 yard uh, curl and it's going to uh, basically, you know, I don't know, it's not really that necessary. So that's every single defense in the game with just that one play. But obviously you need a counter punch because if you're just hitting home runs with the same play over and over, your opponent's going to start uh, using that route. So we have a really good one with the wide trail. This play here doesn't home run every single defense, but it does enough. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. We're going to start off with uh, Tampa 2 again. Now, number one, this play is a really good man-beating play. I'll go over that in a minute. But against cover two zone, you just want to motion this guy across here and put him on a streak. That's all you really got to do. Now, I used to do that with the tight end, and I still find you can. But I really want to use the receiver because the receiver doesn't really mess up the route anymore. And then you can see this is a slightly better angle. So if you're the first play I showed against cover two, this to me is a better cover two zone bomb. Uh, because the angle of the X route the the previous play kind of angled towards the sideline a little bit more and it wasn't as good uh, This one here might be a better cover for quarters to one play touchdown as well and a better man coverage uh, One play touchdown as you can see I mean we're just basically roasting them right the sideline So this play here like I said I like this play better than the first play for a lot of defenses and that especially includes man coverages So we'll go back to man cover two like I said, you got a lot of man beaters here. I mean, I could run this play as is and have success with the A route, the B route, uh, but I really want to get that one play touchdown. So same setup, and we're basically going to have a lot of success outside of that cover two, although there, I mean, I got DeVerne running it, who I think is pretty fast. It's like a 93 speed. But like I said, any man coverage, I mean, the B route, the A route, they're all good man beaters. Uh, the A route is probably the best one. As you can see, you can, can threaten deep middle. Now, if you got a good speed advantage, it's also a very good play against cover one man. If you have a speed advantage like I do with Brown, um, you can have success against cover one. I don't need to make any adjustments. I mean, I'll block my fullback. That's about it. But these, all these routes are man beaters, so I can have success with just about any one of them. And then, like I said, this guy here, it's really just if he's even, he's leaving. I mean, you can get past this cornerback by clicking on and sprinting and still have a very good play, just as long as you have a speed advantage. It also has a lot of success against cover four quarters, so we're going to pick cover four quarters. This play, once again, doesn't need any adjustments to cover four quarters. The X route here typically just, you know, gets outside of it as long as you have enough uh, speed. Um, you can make some adjustments. You can dress it up, but that's pretty much how I would like to run it. As you can see, it's really just a bull and a pass to the outside. But you could also motion this guy across. You can leave him on a slant. That's a pretty good check down. You can put him on a curl, uh, which I think has a lot of success because curls really, um, you know, give, uh, give issues. And then you can see I can get outside of that one more time. There's a lot of different ways to do it against cover four quarters. Play is also a one play touchdown against cover three on current gen, which I know is a lot more difficult uh, for people that are on current gen. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a really easy setup. Uh, for that. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick the PA deep cross one more time. On defense, we're going to go, we're going to pick uh, the uh, cover three sky. This is a old setup, but a good one. Uh, I've been using this for a while. All I got to do is put the X route on a streak or a fade. I I'm going to put them on a fade. It doesn't really matter, but run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. That part matters. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do this one more time. Like I said, this X route here. Basically, just have to wait for this receiver to get past a certain point, and then I just bullet and pass lead outside. Like I said, this is a trick that I've shown in multiple videos. Let's go to the replay, though, because you're going to have to really watch for a couple different things before you make this throw. Number one, you're waiting for this uh, cornerback outside of this receiver to kind of tail off. As you can see right here, he kind of stops and basically waits for this, uh, this crossing uh, receiver. That's why plays like this work. That crossing receiver just does something uh, to the point where this cornerback uh, prematurely expects that he has to cover that cornerback. So that's why that happens. Uh, and then at that point, he's basically bullet and pass lead away from the free safety. Now you also have to wait. I heard, I mean, I, I've been 
you know, I was telling people you have to wait till they cross about 31 yards. Once he hits the 31 yard point, then you can bull and pass it outside. I think it's plays like this, which is why you can't pass lead from, you know, 20 to, from the 20 to the 30, it won't let me pass lead. From uh, 20 yards away from the quarterback to 30 yards away from the quarterback, there's like a blind spot where you can't pass lead. I think if you got pass lead a lead or something, you might be able to, but ultimately you have to wait for him to cross 31 yards and then you can bullet and pass lead outside. So the ball still has to be in my hand once this receiver crosses that mark. I'll show you what I'm talking about if you guys aren't aware of this. Um, so we'll go, we can streak this guy too. I'll put him on a streak this time. But ultimately, if I throw this ball too early, although maybe they patch that, because like I said, that's something that it looked like it had a little bit more success there as I try to throw it early. But you can see, even throwing it early still kind of messes it up because I have to wait for that cornerback to drop. So here we go. One more time. Like I said, got that pass lead now. Like I said, I don't know. Maybe Lamar has pass lead a lead or something. I really don't know. But you can see how just as long as I wait for that cornerback to drop, it's a very easy one play touchdown against cover three on current gen. And then the majority of the other setups uh, work the same. The cover two setup where you motion the receiver across, stuff like that. So this play here, like I said, current gen, old gen, uh, next gen, doesn't matter. It'll work. I won't play touchdown against just about everything. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, running plays and passing plays in one video, uh, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. That's probably like a nine play video or maybe like a half an hour long of a breakdown of this offense because it's a really good offense. There's a ton of great plays in it so hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that next other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below Thank you.